So I have a question. Have you seen the results of the HasLab Rancor project, fan-funded project? Uh, spoiler alert, it didn't make it. Like I always say on this channel, I feel like I'm the child of divorced parents. Like each one gets an equal amount of, of, of my brain space. It's like I have the Transformers, I have Star Wars. I love the two equally without debate with that's just how i feel i just love them but i always say there's a distinct difference between the two fan bases with transformers fans when hasbro takara screw up transformers fans get mad at other transformers fans with star wars fans when Hasbro screws up, Lucasfilm screws up, anyone screws up, Star Wars fans blame Lucasfilm, Hasbro, or any other group that screws up, without question. They, 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 the real fans rarely, if ever, turn on each other because the real fans rarely, if ever, feel any different than each other. I can honestly say they're not a monolith, they, there are some people who are diehard fans of the old, of the original trilogy and the prequels who like the new movies, who like some of the new stuff, and that's fine. But the ones that we're, we're talking about are the, 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 the ones that bring all the vitriol to the, to the group, the ones that are just, they're just there because it just seems like something they can do in between Harry Potter books. That's that's all this is. It's like a hobby between a Marvel movie or a Harry Potter book. That's all that's all that that's all they're there for. That's their entire existence. And if you don't believe me about my theory, case in point, the Rancor. Now, Star Wars fans laid down the law. They said we want the Rancor Keeper. They said the they wanted Ula, the dancer, in jo from Jabba's palace. There's literally there was literally a phrase on the internet: "No Ula, no Moolah." They weren't going to get a dime. They revealed the tears, the the stretch goals, and they didn't get either of them. The fallout was so bad, so bad that Hasbro recanted and said oh not only are we going to give you the rancor keeper now because you demanded it we heard you um but we're going to give it to you as soon as the rancor is unlocked trying to save face because they decided that a giant cardboard background is worth 350 dollars with some bones with some plastic bones shaped like the skeletons of uh, of, of creatures from the Star Wars universe. They decided that a Grimorian guard that everyone owns, multiples of, was worth $350. They decided that a retooled Luke Skywalker was worth $350. And if you add up all the people who would have to do that, we're talking millions upon millions of dollars Hasbro would have made for characters and figures they've already done they've already released and the star wars fans said f you and they didn't get mad at each other they weren't sitting there yelling and screaming at each other last i checked when i went in on uh victory saber when i went in on that everybody all the transformers fan all the transformers fans they were dull they were vicious just vicious just going after the old boy <laughs> and i sat there laughing because i was like this is exactly what i was talking about and what happened with the star wars fans did they go after each other hell no people wanted the rancor people were like just give us what we want with the rancor we'll call it good get take my money but hasbro got greedy hasbro screwed up 
and there's going to be a lot of people who are probably going to be in some big time trouble when the meetings come later on in the week about why this thing wasn't funded but once again it's because star wars fans stick to the script star wars fans say a hey, we know what we want we're not going to we're not going to sway we're not we're we're like a union it's kind of like a union we all know what we want and if they don't give it to us we tell them to f off transformers fans are kind of like a, a tiered staff it's like you know you have the people at the top of the pyramid that can you know the whales and then you have your other the subsections you know it's kind of, it's kind of like a pyramid and you got a lot of people at the bottom it's kind of it, you know it 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 just doesn't it, there's no real unionization behind it there's a reason why this project failed because they had a chance to gain momentum they had the chance to give people what they wanted and they didn't and it failed transformers fans need to take a lesson from this they need we we as transformers fans we need to start unionizing better and demanding more from hasbro you want to complain about the size of the figures all the figures are getting smaller and smaller better unionize stop buying tell them to screw you give give us larger figures if you want the prices to sort of drop and the quality to go back up to where it was around siege here's your chance they're 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 reeling right now from this they were like whoa whoa where else can we uh make exceptions that you know what now's the time to get compromises from hasbro as transformers fans now is your time this is the time to start getting those concessions. This is the time to, to vote with your wallet. And I'm, I'm like, right now, I'm very happy, I gotta say, because every store I've gone to when I've gone on hunts, I still see that crappy Kingdom Tracks figure just laying up and taking up space on pegs. The RC, the Wheeljack, uh, 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 the Scorponok. Just, I just see them taking up space on pegs. And that's a beautiful thing because I know that now people are voting with their wallets. And this is your chance to start getting concessions from this company. This is your chance to start stepping up your game. You want more from them? Now's your time. Now they're reeling. Now they're reeling. The G.I. Joe fans are about to get a piece of that action as well because I don't think that Sky Striker is going to fund. And the G.I. Joe fans are going to be like, hey, we you didn't give us what we wanted at the price we wanted so you know what screw you so now is our chance this is this is the beginning of our chance to take to turn the tide in the favor of the fans it's time to rally it's time to get our stuff together and we need as transformers fans we need to unionize and come together and say we're not taking it from you. We're not going to take crappy figures, crappy quality. We're not going to take crappy plastic. We're not going to take brittle plastic. We're not going to take you oh, using crappy clear plastic that breaks and it's just, no, we're not, we're done. We're done. We're done. This is our chance. This is our chance. They're reeling, which means they're most likely, they're more likely to listen. So make them listen. And while you're listening, please feel free, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, get out there. Happy hunting. I hope you and any family members you're buying for any or anybody else in the collecting community, I hope that you get what you want. I hope that you find what you want, but mostly I hope that you will tell Hasbro we don't want your crappy figures. We want good stuff. We want good stuff at a good price. This is your chance. Don't say I didn't warn you. But with that said, with that said, be safe, be good, and this is a drunken prime cracking open another beer and signing off.